Hey Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for January. It's going to be an all about you reading. So I shuffle cards a couple of times and then I'll go through them one by one. Yeah, it's through some reading or rising. If you don't resonate with this, check out your other sign. Um, what else do I want to say? We're in Mercury retrograde as well, so people could come back from your past, you could be getting problems with um, like electrics, things like that. I think we're in Venus retrograde as well, so definitely an emphasis on love and old love and situations that weren't resolved or whatever, or lingered or whatever it is, yeah. Right, so we'll begin. Capcom Sun, Capcom Moon, Capcom Rising. I will read from the bottom. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Pisces, you don't have to be, you can have it in your chart, but the High Priestess is keep, keep secrets. This one's intuition is very um, on point. Could be you, you could be getting told things at the moment. You've got a blindfold on at this time, though. I see this as like the first quarter moon, something's going to be revealed. If you can't see anything clearly at this time, you will be able to see it by then. Because um, the truth is coming in with this one. He brings the truth in. He brings it without tact as well. Somebody could bring it in, the truth in, without actually, with, 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 I can't talk, wearing a mask. His intuition isn't actually facing him anymore, though. So someone may do something malicious, maybe. Um, could involve Virgo towards Capricorn. That could be you. Um, she's hiding some money and there's a pregnancy here as well because her belly's very, like, pregnant. Um, and also it could have something to do, that could be the secret. Somebody could come in and say something about what's being hidden under her arm, under her cloak. But it's been revealed because you can see it now. Um, and there's also this signing of documents. The Eight of Pentacles is normally working on money. <laughs> So somebody signed something to do with money. There was a shadow card. Somebody wore a mask when they did it, did it though. So they did it wrongfully. Somebody signed something being somebody, maybe, I can only say it's being someone else. Otherwise, why would you wear a mask? But the truth's coming out on that situation. Because of the, because, and whatever it is, the truth is going to have somebody like on the end of that sword. And yeah, that's what the truth's going to do. Um, and then we've got a card of Virgo, and he's got somebody in a cage, um, the Hermit. He normally shines a light on a situation, but maybe the light is having somebody in a cage. Maybe a Virgo's got you in a cage, I don't know. But he's got someone in, he's got someone in a cage. He's either going up the stairs or coming down, and one of the two. Maybe... Maybe the hermit did that without knowing he was doing it, but he did it. he's done it. He got some. He ended up getting someone in the cage, and that could have been something to do with some wish washy love, like somebody coming in with a cup of love, like rushing in, giving someone a cup of love. But it's wish washy. It's not real. And he's wearing a mask there, and there's three people in the background of that situation. Yeah, somebody's a player. Somebody's a player, and that's what they do. Yeah, or a Sagittarius, but a player. And this may be keeping you up over night time this situation you may be getting like woken up in the night from nightmares um like screaming your head off um anxious worried stressed out there might be an ending coming to this situation then because that's kind of scorpio or you could be dealing with a scorpio where people are putting their heads in the sand and ignoring a situation maybe there'll be an end to that there'll be a death to that and that could have something to do with uh, messages of love 
or maybe you're thinking of sending a message of love maybe your intuition is telling you maybe to not maybe to think about that because there's going to be a very very sharp ending if you do maybe and that's going to cause a well he's being eaten alive look and he's got two people watching Yeah. It's something you're blindfolding yourself to a truth to as well, and it's making you get more and more and more stuck. Like, you're trying to get out of it, but you're getting more and more stuck. She hasn't even got a blindfold on. She's just stuck. So you're stuck. You're stuck in something. And two people are watching you. Two people might be trying to help you get out of it, or two people are, like, egging you on, one of the two. could have something to do with a, a younger Earth sign, Virgo towards the Capricorn, who is probably the same person as... The one um, coming offering a cup of love because he's got three people in the background. This one moves very slowly though, very very slowly, and he's riding in on a mule. Whatever that means. Um, and then we've got Taurus who has two people hypnotized to start off with. It's a high level of commitment, something very spiritual. He's like a bit of a spiritual, he reminds me of like a crazy spiritual leader, like a cult leader. Don't know, ask me why, but he does. Smoking his bifter at the same time. And that could be something to do with very sneaky behavior, could be to do with theft, could be to do with, oh, I see how it is, he's moving a body, he's moving a dead body, that, that's dead. He's off to eat that now. But yeah, and it can also be to do with a family situation, a family situation where there's a lot of vultures swimming around, flying around, looking for dead bodies, because that's what vultures do, they look for dead things, they eat dead things. That's what vultures do, isn't it? You could be having a Leo, uh, well that's my kind of Leo, Queen of Wands, coming through, clearing things out of the way, maybe things, obstacles have been put in the way of her, or been put in the way of you maybe. Somebody's clearing things out of the way so they can get through. So they can get through back on their path that they need to be on. And that could be putting you in your head or somebody in their head. There may have been, I always see, I see a fire in this card as well. Like somebody's burned down to a cinder and about five people got affected by that. Because they've all got burned, they've all lost feathers. So five people got really affected by a situation that's burned something down to the ground. Whether that is really burned something down to the ground or whether just whatever has been burned down to the ground. That, yeah, and then we've got the last card in tarot. That's the end of all cycles. That's the end of cycles. The way things were, they'll never be again. That can never be again. It's the end of it. It's done. It's over. It's finished. Yeah, it's the end. Uh, and that may have been something you were perfecting. Maybe you've been working on something, making something absolutely perfect. You've worked on it for a long time. You sculpted it. You made it look real. It's not real, but you made it look real. And you may have had other people involved in that situation where you've been messaging lots of people or lots of people are involved. You're all messaging each other. Other people are being nosy, having a nose in. There's three main people, but there's other people in the background. You know, some people are interested, some people are disinterested. And that could be about something dark. Like the temperance is normally like, well, she's dark. She's a dark angel. There's light there because she's trying to put light there. Maybe something's dark that is made to look light on the on the front. So something behind something is something dark, but it's being made to look like it's not, maybe. And maybe messages of passion have got something to do with it. Ask me how, I don't know. But you've been messaging somebody passionately, and that could have something to do with juggling. Somebody juggling two things, two people. Um... Maybe with their head down at the same time. Maybe you've been juggling two people, your head down, keeping them, stopping them from looking at each other. Maybe you've been stopping people from seeing what's real, what's not. And then we've got the emperor. So this could be someone you're married to. He's in. He's got two watchers. Two people watch over him or watch or are there. He can also do. He's got a crystal ball, so he can see into the future. Also, could be a father involved in this situation somehow. But whatever all of this is, is, is making you hold on to something you feel is precious. It's also you're looking at what you've accumulated, what you've got in your life. What, and three other people are looking at that with you. And that could have been over a new beginning, my love. Something you believe is a soulmate relationship. But one person's wearing a mask in this. And there's two people in the background having a very good look on a soulmate relationship. Yeah. And then we've got a card of Libra. 
when somebody's going to bring in some balance, whether it, you know, his intuition's talking to him, he's a crazy clown as well, so he's going to do it crazily. Yeah, and you could have a blessing, somebody could be bringing a blessing on an aeroplane, you could be, it could be involving somebody who comes from abroad because of the aeroplane being there, somebody's in disguise there, you're not seeing someone's face when they come, or maybe you don't know they're coming and they're in disguise, yeah, and that could be the truth, they could be bringing a message of truth to you, maybe, maybe on a, coming on an aeroplane to do that, and maybe this is something you've been waiting for because that's waiting for your ships to come in maybe a ghost is coming in maybe something's coming in to tell you something something about you not being able to make a decision between two things you've been indecisive about something and that could have something to do with lots of money ten of pentacles lots of money where two people are scavenged off that money and then there's three people in the background well, there's two people really see what's going on and there's one now coming in to look and that's got over like yeah it's inheritance community money um just lots of money really and maybe this situation with a new beginning with money has been spoken about by too many people. Maybe too many people know about the situation and it's been, you know, it's knowledge because he's singing about it there, that bit. Yeah, and there may also be somebody involved in this situation who is, uh, it may be you. I mean, she's got lots of money. She's got lots of jewels around her neck. She's holding that precious bird again, but there's mechanics of all the works of what's going on underneath her. She might be looking cool as a cucumber on top, but she underneath there's a lot of things going on. I'll show you. Oh, the, the mechanics underneath. Underneath her feet. That's the works of everything that's going on. There's a lot going on. Yeah. And this could be about you being left out. There's an indifference in love in here somewhere. Somebody got left and somebody's broken. And it's, it's like somebody's watching. Somebody's watching that person broken. So that's you or that's your person. And maybe somebody went off to get recognition and reward. Or you did. Maybe you went off and got recognition and reward. Maybe even from a magician. That's uh, the card of Virgo. Or an Aries. It could be a water sign because there's a cup there. So it could be Cat's Pisces or Scorpio. But normally it's a card of Virgo. His intuition is not talking to him at all anymore because he's actually done way too much. He couldn't drop anything and he had to keep going and going and going until he won. But he couldn't win, so he kept doing more and more and more. And what happens at the end there is you go mental. Look, he's lost the plot. And that could be over a choice he made between two things and he thought he had the golden bird, maybe. Maybe poured some... Yeah, she's. I always see her as like a black widow pouring all her love away. Maybe that's relevant. But you definitely got off on the ship. Somebody got in their ship and they moved away from a situation. Maybe that was an Aries. It's, that's a card of Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But normally my Aries card. That person's looking pretty mad. And then here you are, Capricorn, the devil card. But you're karmically tied or somebody's karmically tied sexually to somebody else. She's having quite a lot of fun, but he's having a good look at her bum. Maybe you went off and had a new beginning. Maybe you had to make a choice between two lovers. Maybe a Gemini was involved in that. It's kind of Gemini, but you definitely had to make a choose choice between two lovers. But you obviously did because there's two of you there. And that could have something to do with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or somebody who's been fighting. Maybe you feel like you've been fighting for a very long time. Like he's gone mad as well, like that magician. His intuition ain't talking to him either. He's pretty sore in the ground, but you can easily take it out. Maybe you're going to go into somebody with an apology, with a sorry. Because that's what they're... Uh, page pentacles does and maybe that's going to bring in this tower moment where somebody's going to drop out of the sky somebody's going to feel completely stabbed because they uh, have a third party situation or a situation where they've been stabbed straight through yeah and that could be over somebody walking away but somebody maybe have took some money before they did walk away and maybe you there was people fighting around that situation but somebody saw it underneath the moon yeah and that could have been a situation where there was a lot of people like attacking one person. Somebody couldn't let something go. Somebody had to keep going, keep going, keep going. And that may have been a group of people. That may have been a, like uh, people may have been doing rituals under the moon. There was one main woman and then there was like four other people, three other people, four people in total maybe. And that could have been something to do with, well, maybe even you, Capricorn, or the father of your children or your husband. Um, Virgo to also Capricorn. Also, it could have been somebody was wearing a mask there and looking the other way, pretending they weren't noticing. And that could have been over, like, one-night stand energy. He doesn't look like he's too interested in one-night stand energy there, though. 
Yeah. Something you were ignoring, but somehow there was a light shone in that situation. The sun come out. And that, this situation we're talking about could have been going on since the summer. But the Wheel of Fortune is here now, so things could turn, good or bad. Time's ticking. Maybe you felt guided towards something. I'm seeing that as a bit of a compass, that's me. And then we've got the Empress energy, which is Libra. It's also the mother. Um, also could be a pregnancy, um, like somebody older being pregnant as well. That's what that is. Later stages of pregnancy also, yeah. And you could be feeling like you're carrying a burden at this time. You could feel like you're about to fall on your knees. Either so, if someone's carrying you and you're a burden or that you're carrying them. But somebody's very worried on your back, so the other person's very worried. And that could be a cancer could be involved. It doesn't have to be. Somebody's made a decision they to move away from the situation they're off. And they could do that over night time. And maybe there was a lot of illusions and lies around the situation. And moon is, this is a moon card, but cancer is the moon as well, and they're looking the other way. And that could be like, they almost look like them hypnotised, them two birds. Maybe that's relevant. Somebody definitely got left out in the cold, though, and a child could have been around in that situation, quite upset. But somebody kind of got tied up and they got attacked, maybe. Blindfolded. Somebody was blindfolded to seeing what the truth was, maybe even. Maybe mentally somebody got attacked. And that could have been over somebody trying to guard some money, Got some maybe even houses. There's two houses in the background. Somebody's got a hold of their precious bird though, and that could be a crazy clown because he's got a mask on like a crazy clown. He's also got tatty shoes on, even though he's got loads of chains and whatever around his. So maybe that's what I learned. And then also here we've got this three of cups. So there's three women could be involved in this situation. Maybe they celebrate together. Maybe they won't work together. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe those three women are them three birds, and maybe they're being controlled by that one man, and maybe they have to pay in a lot of money to be whatever. And uh, he has control over them, though. And all three of them are dutifully looking at him, look like little lap dogs, to like ready to anything he says they do. You sit, you walk off, you go, you come, you pay me loads of money. Yeah, and that could be a situation where you feel like you're hanging on the abyss, like that bird's about to untie you, and you're about to drop down, and your hands are tied behind your back, so there's absolutely nothing you're going to be able to do about it. Yeah. And maybe this is a situation where you keep going back to the same thing, you keep trying to get away, but you can't, and every time you try and go back, whichever way you go, you're getting stuck. Like, and you've been doing this for a long, for quite a long time, probably, because you've got cobwebs all around your arms, so you can't move your arms now. And you could feel like you're being attacked. There could be five people in the background attacking you or egging you on or calling you back. And it could also, it could even be, it could involve a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. And that could be the person who's giving you nightmares in your sleep because that bird on there is the same bird that was waking you up, giving you nightmares. Maybe. Right, we'll do these one by one. Right, what's going on inside you at this time? I'm just gonna put you on. Is um judgment. And we've got this graveyard scene where three birds, one bird is seriously digging into the ground, having a good look in the graveyard, and the other two are watching. One seems to be smiling behind, but the other one seems to be having a panic attack. And judgment's coming in because somebody was seen doing that. So there was something dodgy something underhand something probably to do with some weird ritual something to do with yeah again yeah. why would you dig inside a grave i don't know what other people are saying about you is reminiscing over the past over over things you've done like looking yourself in the mirror it's got something to do with love though maybe a past love Maybe something, he looks quite remorseful if you look at his face. Like, ah, uh, doesn't really want, even want to look in the mirror at himself. What you're keeping a secret. Is that you've had a long, hard conversation with your intuition. Your intuition's told you something. 
and you've had a really good think about that and it's got to do with keeping your guard up as well maybe you know you, you're you've got to keep your guard up maybe you're keeping that a secret but you know you've got to keep your guard up that could have something to do with what you did at a graveyard though why you're keeping it a secret well is um the queen of swords gemini libra or aquarius She's got a mask on, so she's not showing herself. Her eyes are closed. She's got a tower behind her. She's got a church behind her, religion behind her, cathedral behind her. Something religious is behind that person. She's got a sword on the side, which I think she means she comes in peace, but doesn't have to be. On your conscious mind right now is a Leo. There's a card of Leo. In this one, I see that somebody's trying to keep a Leo's mouth shut. She's trying to shut Leo's mouth. And she feels guided to do that. Somebody's got the the eight above their head. So it's something. Somebody feels guided to whatever they're doing. They feel guided by doing it. Whether they're guided sanely or insanely is a different map. But they're guided. In your heart. In your heart, you're being visited by a ghost about choices you made. That ghost is kind of real, though, because he's got eyes. I don't know if you can see his eyes. I can see his eyes. So he's coming and visiting you, maybe over these choices you made. Maybe it's somebody from your past. In your soul... You're crying over spilt milk. In your soul, you're crying over lost things, lost love. You're crying over, yeah, and you may be drinking too much as well at this time, Capricorn. Whatever all of this is, is, is it's heavy, actually, because it feels heavy. But you're, yeah, you're, you're drowning your sorrows. That's what you're doing. And the overall conclusion of this is the King of Cups. That is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And this person isn't happy. This person's pissed off at his face. And he's got two birds sitting on his shoulders too, but he's not even looking anymore. He's looking to the side. Wherever that bear's looking to the side, he's looking the same place. So we're going to clarify these now. I'll just do a couple of these. Police could be uh, getting involved in this situation as well, because it's just sound of the police. <laughs> something about June is relevant. June to October, so maybe something happened in June, maybe something happened in October as well. A dark witch could be relevant. Maybe that's got something to do with that graveyard. Maybe that's why that's on your mind at this time inside you, because that's what's kind of like going on right now you could also be having car issues at this time somebody's lying about a child don't go away with anyone at this time telepathy uh, which transmits through thoughts so you might be being telepathic with somebody and making pouty faces however that could be relevant well i'll use my light see this tarot. so why have we got this graveyard this judgment What's judgment for Capricorn? Okay, you may be being judged over. Well, Ace of Wands is my one night stand energy. Maybe you had your passion ignited. She's also got her passion ignited on her crown chakra as well. Maybe that's relevant. But yeah, you definitely feel like you could have, like, well, it could be to do with a soulmate relationship. Maybe. Hmm. You'd be getting judgment on one night stand energy soulmate relationship. Could be somebody with a different skin colour to you as well as black and white there. Yeah, it could also be involving a well a King of Wands is normally my Aries card, but it can be Leo or Sagittarius, and there is a there is a lion in the background. So maybe there's a, a Leo in the background somewhere. Um but yeah, King of Wands is Aries energy. And he's got his wand well and truly lit, so. There you go.
but most definitely your intuition's guiding you towards doing something. Maybe you're getting, a, you're running away, you're going to meet somebody, but you're doing it in a hurry. There's something you're doing in a hurry, you're running away. And this could be something to do with the Ten of Swords, something that's going to end something. It's going to be a complete ending. And that's got something to do with the Knight of Swords. That's also a truth as well. Maybe somebody's running away from the truth or somebody's running away. Somebody feels guided to run away and that's going to end in something. It's going to be a complete... Maybe that's a judgment in a situation. Yeah, a third party situation maybe. Maybe there's three women involved in that situation. Let's get one more. Oh. Yeah, something maybe has become a burden. Maybe something it's got something to do with karma as well. The number 36 could be relevant, but somebody's definitely being very two faced or four faced or whatever at this time as well because that person's got lots of faces. Could have something to do with Cancer and Leo because there's a sun and moon on them faces. Oh, and also two of cups, yeah. Also to do with like soulmate relationships. 24 could be relevant and J could be relevant. And here I've got oh, dark candle magic, oh, menstrual rage, and yeah, bibliocation, which is the ability to be in two places at the same time, uh, a foul mouth, and witness protection, and the letter N, and father, so if father could be relevant, somebody's wiretapped, and surprise sex, yeah. <laughs> Unrequited love, move on. Being hunt being hunted like a fox and gibbous moon. You're very close to achieving your goals, Capricorn. Or oh, whatever this one is. Yeah. Someone's trying to drug you, beware. So we'll do this reminiscing, this past, what other people are seeing about you at this time. Knight of Pentacles, younger earth sign. Somebody I see is leaving a trail of money. Somebody's trying to entice somebody. Maybe. Maybe this is something that's keeping you awake at night, though. She's been attacked by lots of birds and crying and not being able to sleep. And maybe that's got something to do with the hermit, a Virgo. Somebody needs to sit, take a time on their own and get enlightened to a situation, maybe. And this could be something you think is a blessing. Something you would, like, literally, you know... You're thinking you're getting all your nine cups in one go and it's golden, yeah. But the Wheel of Fortune is a turning. Could also involve a um, single father of children. Doesn't have to be a single father. Could be a mother. The Three of Pentacles normally with a juggling card, but it's not. This is to do with a... Yeah. And also a choice between lovers. But she's chosen a lover. And also then black and white skin colour. So different skin colours that could be relevant to you. Maybe... So what else do we need to know about Capricorn reminiscing about the past? Somebody at this time could be trying to push some clouds over you. Trying to push the dark clouds. Somebody's trying to push dark clouds over and somebody's trying to push the light clouds back again. You could also be signing documents with a cancer party or Scorpio at this time as well. And there also could be a pregnancy. Somebody could be pregnant this time. And somebody also could be putting a complete end to it. Or you could have a death of some description. There's an earth sign holding the urn there as well. Yeah, somebody's walked away. Somebody is going to walk away. There's going to be a group of people go one way. And then there's going to be another person goes off on their own. Or a fire sign in your life could have gone off on their own. Right, let's do one more. <clears throat> what else do we need to know on this six of cups okay card of leo strength card courage you may need a lot of strength courage at this time yeah, something about your support as well, and the inspiration you had. Something you thought was support as well. 
Yeah, you could be very stressed out at this time as well. I feel like you're looking back at something in the past, or something that you've left behind, something that you've done, something that's making you reflect on something, look in the mirror. Yeah, and you could be keeping secrets about this at this time as well. High priestess energy, yeah. Something's causing you great sadness, so you need to get integrity in something and have some healing, yeah. And take action on something as well. Can't suppose the Scorpio energy, yeah. Something about being sensitivity. And something about being very spiritual as well. Um, Knight of Cups. You need to take action on something. There's a cheater in that card though, so somebody's played away, done something. Yeah, somebody you may have celebrated with as well, yeah. There's an end of these cycles and then you get success, but you have to end the cycles first to get the success, as I see it in that card. Right, let's go on the seven of wands. Yeah. You may go into somebody and offer them, I um, mean, keeping it a secret though, somebody's coming to you with an apology, May come in with some flowers. Um, this will put you in your head though. Maybe you have a choice to make. Maybe you're waiting and watching out of the window at this time for somebody to come back. Something you feel you're guided towards doing as well. Yeah, something you feel makes you lucky as well. Let's get a couple of these. You may be as well luring somebody in at this time though, because I'm seeing that she's like fully naked, like as if enticing that man here, whatever that means. And then the chariot, you could have <coughs> cancer, card of cancer, but somebody's leaving somebody when they're asleep, so maybe somebody's coming in, seeing you, going in the middle of the night, like when you've gone to sleep. Maybe this is somebody you kind of like, yeah, night of swords. It's so normally somebody spying online as well. Maybe you're sending pictures of your bum and stuff. He's like having a very good look at her bum, if you see what I mean. Yeah. And this also could be... Something's become a burden because maybe you're having to do something out of the way. Like they're having sex in the, in the bushes, like out of the way. Maybe something's becoming a burden on how you have to do it. Maybe it's a secret thing out of the way. Yeah. Something maybe as well at home that isn't like she's sitting there ignoring him. He's bringing her flowers and maybe somebody's coming in apologising to you over something. Um, and then the Eight of Swords. You may also have blindfolded yourself to a truth. You may have been, maybe, something may have happened in a sofa, in a living room. Anyway, somebody was spying while that was done. Maybe you thought you saw somebody but didn't know if you did. Well, you did if you did think that. Because there's somebody watching in the background, somebody's seeing, and she's looking straight at that person. Yeah, that's leaving you very anxious and worried at this time, quite stressed out. Yeah, and this could involve a ring of people. There could be a, someone very snaky, or you're acting very snaky. Maybe you're involved with a ring and acting snaky. Yeah, maybe this could be something you do at home, or something that's been done at home. There's a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio at the door, though. This could be about a new relationship, maybe you started. Or maybe somebody's come in and offered you a new relationship. Uh, let's have a look at why we've got the Queen of Swords. She's also got very good intuition. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, we've got a sneaky behaviour, Seven of Swords. That's somebody running around at night time doing underhand things. And she's coming in with a truth. She's the reason you're keeping all this a secret. Maybe she already knows, as I just said, her intuition's very good. Maybe you're trying to ignore something, or maybe... She knows something about some sneaky behaviour that you're ignoring. And that could have something to do with a very a bad pregnancy. She's got a very big bump. The Empress there. That's not something you're going to be out of high for too much longer. And maybe this has got something to do with a relationship. To do with family maybe. And maybe there needs to be balance put in this situation again. And maybe that has something to do with a Leo and a Cancer. Because he's got the sun and the moon in his hand. That's also a card of Sagittarius. Somebody may be thinking about coming in with a sorry ass apology and trying to play with your mind. 
Somebody could be getting locked up as well, going to prison. Um, Pisces could be relevant in that. And these games, what they've been well and truly played, someone needs to change up. Secrets are now coming out. Return to sender. Somebody has a gaffer. Scorpio could be relevant. Aquarius could be relevant and move differently now. And heavy spell work, you're spellbound. Looks like someone jumped ship just in time and the Illuminati could be relevant. Gemini could be relevant. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Big boundaries have been broken. I'm afraid there's no more filter. Sexual tension, moving on swiftly. On the crazy shit again and it's ending, mofo. Sagittarius ascendant. And someone could, someone could be planting seeds in your head. And someone's going to be a very unstable person. Yeah, release all things that aren't good. Family member, close friend, cousin, trying to cause an accident or fatal accident. Your ex could be relevant and you're about to go and sign the membrane at the highest level. December, something could happen in December. Capricorn moon, something could happen in March. And someone's married is about to get caught. Not today, thank you. 12 has Pisces things could be relevant. Karma, family secrets, hidden enemies. Um, confinement. Rebirth, sacrifice, surrender, institutions, collective unconscious, a snake, you're missing something, puberty could be relevant, teenage pregnancy, ear chakra, and this person hurts themselves for attention. Someone's lying to themselves and they don't realise you're in someone's yeah, spell work. And this person talks out of ball, don't listen. Police brutality, October, and this person touches a cloud. Trust your gut feelings and they spend more time watching that and getting on with their own life. Yeah, and then we've got recognition and reward. Page of Cups, which is wish washy love at the very best. Pigs by fly, if you think it is love. And that's something to do with family. Family is heavy in this reading. Yeah, and also a new beginning with stability. Right, let's look at this Leo card, this strength card. What do we need to know? Okay, so we've got the Hermit card, the Virgo card. Somebody who's very could have be quite snaky. They've got a snake around his stick, but he's shining a light on something. Yeah, maybe about freedom. Maybe maybe he's taking freedom. <laughs> maybe he's showing somebody how to get freedom. I don't know. But yeah, could be to do with decisions you make about an indifference in love. And you could be being very generous to somebody at this time. Maybe you're being generous to the Hermit. Yeah, and maybe you're very determined to do something at this time. But it's going to bring down the tower. You're going to come into an enlightenment, and that could be something of the past, but it could also be about children, two children, or it could be about twins. Yeah, you're very dedicated to something at this time, and you're making progress, though. You could be being very generous as well, and you could be having lots of new ideas on a family situation or a home situation. But there's going to be a big ending, because recognition is here, and luck, yeah. Maybe for your own love. I don't know what's going to end. Um, but something's making you isolated as well. And something about some illusions and lies, some dream you had, you're very uncertain about at this time because maybe there's a lot of drama being caused and that's being caused by juggling. Juggling something, juggling time, juggling people. Let's look more on these ones. Yeah. And then we've got player energy and the six of swords, which is moving away to greener grasses. Maybe you're feeling guided to move away to something, but you need to be careful because it's player energy. Could be a Sagittarius, but it's generally it's player energy for me. Yeah, You could also have a Cancer of Pisces or Scorpio. It's quite emotional at this time. Got like drowning in their emotion, but they're very tuned in with upstairs. Yeah, And then we've got an Emperor here. So that's uh, Aries. Big Aries, actually, because of the horns in the back. But this person holds a chess piece. Maybe this person knows information. Yeah. Maybe even on you, Capricorn, because that's Virgo towards Capricorn. Whoever this is, though, they're very concentrated on money. Money is the main objective. They've got a dog beside them. That's relevant. Uh, right, let's have a look who this ghost of the past is. This ghost of the past, or this choice you made of a ghost, or somebody that... Maybe is a, is in disguise, maybe they come in disguise, but it's to do with dodgy money. And there's a lot of people involved in this situation who are all in communication together and it's, yeah, gossiping about a situation. Like, if you think people don't know what's going on, they do. 
and that could have something to do with some higher level of commitment something spiritual some a marriage even but yeah somebody's gonna have an enlightenment moment now you're gonna be enlightened to something maybe some information maybe something you read you may get a text message you may just have your lights turned on maybe by your intuition but this is about somebody giving to more than one person about maybe a new beginning with love maybe about you looking at your ships coming in and seeing something coming in but this is leaving you in your head capricorn and it's all got to do with choices. And maybe you chose to grow something that... It's looking at what you've grown. It's looking at what you've accumulated in your life. It's looking at what you've got. What, what, whatever situation you're in, it's looking at what, what's been produced from that. And this could have something to do with your childhood wounds as well. The solar plexus for chakra. Maybe you need to heal some wounds. Yeah, but whatever you're doing is going to take a lot of spiritual strength. Could have something to do with a Leo with a light card, but maybe, yeah, sacral chakra, emotional. And then we've got sacrifice, so maybe you feel like you have to sacrifice things at this time. Maybe you're trapped in fear about letting things go. Maybe letting things go of the past, maybe moving forward in a, in a different way and it's leaving you trapped in fear. These ones really want to talk. Oh god, that's too many cards. Oh. We'll do these. Yeah. That can also have something to do with like passionate messages, like a um, bit wish washy love. Somebody may be coming in with an apology, a cup of love, or you're thinking of doing that on something that's ended completely because it's a ten of swords, so that's a complete ending. That could have to do with juggling, yeah. And that could be on a higher level of commitment. Could be someone you're married to as well, could be an Aries, could be a father figure that we're dealing with here, or you're dealing with. And this could be something you're enlightened to, like you're hanging up to down, but you're completely enlightened to a situation, not doing anything moving forward on it. And that could be to do with a hermit, someone trying to enlighten someone or a Virgo. Something you're in your head about, though. Yeah. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Somebody who's quite wealthy, has quite a lot of money. But also, they leave you feeling quite... Um, yeah, you might keep going back to something. You might feel like you keep going back to something, keep trying again. But actually, it's become a burden. You need to drop them burdens. And you need to find balance in your life. Because there's a light being shone on a third-party situation now. Because somebody was spying on the line. That may be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You need to heal yourself now because it's a complete end in Scorpio energy. Right, let's do this Five of Cups. Yeah, you may be feeling left out in the cold at the moment. You may feel like, you know, after player energy, after being a player maybe. Maybe your cancer was involved in that situation. Somebody's made a decision though to move away from the situation. They haven't actually done it yet though. Yeah, two cards of that, six of... Swords. Maybe somebody has moved away to greener grasses. Maybe you have, yeah, after passionate messages, maybe. And a new beginning with stability was needed, maybe. And then we've got the high priestess, secrets. Secrets may be about a new beginning with love. And that could be involving an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Normally my Aries card. Yeah, somebody though who had lots of choices. Somebody who had lots of choices, not all of them good choices, and they wouldn't make a decision. And maybe that was a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Maybe that's got something to do with one night stand energy. Let's just do a couple of these and then we'll go on to the last one. Yeah. There's also there's a pregnancy around the situation. Look, that fertility card, the Empress card. And this could be causing you a lot of heartache and loss at this time. Making you feel quite, yeah, big emotional loss. And maybe at this time you need to take some patience and planning and find balance in your life, yeah, and emotionally withdraw from what you need to so you can get triumph and success and have victory and success and open up your third eye chakra again because maybe you're not seeing things that you're meant to at this time. Right, let's do Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Why have we got this? Eight of Wands, Passionate Messages. Let's get a bit more. And then the High Priestess. There's some secret about passionate messages. I don't know if it's with you or if it's with this Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, somebody who controls their emotions. But somebody, yeah, some 
may have been involved in a Leo, may involve a child, but it doesn't have to. It could be that someone's been illuminated about a situation. That could be on a family situation where somebody's made a choice between two people or two things. And it's a situation that you've been stressed out and worried about with the Nine of Swords there, like your sleepless nights, not been out of sleep properly. Yeah, and it could actually make you very single. But you're ignoring this situation, you're ignoring what the truth is, and there's illusions and lies around that truth. But if the sun and the moon are out together, that means it's coming out. Get a little bit, yeah, and this. Yeah. There's going to be an end of these cycles. Whatever's going on, there'll be an end to these cycles. And this could be something from your past or past life relationship. You could think you're in a past life connection. It could be something to do with a magician. Somebody could have been doing a bit of magician in. Could be a Virgo though, because a Virgo is a magician. Um, and there's judgment on the situation. A child may be involved in this situation, or there will be. Yeah. This is what's involving somebody looking at their ships coming in. Then we've got the Empress. That's. A pregnancy as well yeah and this is on a relationship or it's on a family situation or it's going to affect it could also cause hospice care and doppelganger and the letter h you could have a double out there capricorn it's just dawning on here you could also be married to somebody, watching them out, waiting for them to come back. Something could be making you feel very strong and abundant at this time, but there's something you definitely need to cut and clear. And it could have been something going on since the summer, since sort of harvest time, or that September? October, September. It could have something to do with a pagan book of spells as well. Something you wished about as well. Maybe you wished it up with a pagan book of spells. It could have something to do with sexuality, but it's definitely to do with a new relationship and illusions and lies. And your husband, who could have actually be watching and be very jealous at this time. You feel guided towards doing something, though. Yeah, something that's keeping you isolated, though, Capricorn. And keeping you anxious and worried and stressed out. Yeah, and it's to do with dodgy money. To do with dodgy money, a new birth that's going to happen. Maybe with a man that dresses as a woman. That could be relevant somehow. Something you're very loyal to at this time, though, but time's ticking on this situation, on a home situation. Something about a child is relevant. Something that's very snaky, but something that's about to come out in public, because that's a public card. Yeah, something that you're trying to push another dark cloud over from the light, and there's another woman in the background. You've got some knowledge to that situation, to a maze of, that you've been put in, maybe, or you put somebody else in. And there's a bridge there, so you could bridge the situation. You could be able to fix it, maybe, somehow. Yeah. The King of Swords, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you could be dealing with somebody like that in their chart. Somebody who's ready to fight, though. And somebody who could be quite argumentative, like not... you. Somebody in this situation wants to have the last say, but it's going to end up causing heartbreak. It's going to end up causing heartbreak. And that's on a family situation. And that's somebody you could be karmically tied to as well. Devil energy, that's your energy, Capricorn. Could also be a Leo involved in this situation with the Queen of Wands there. Somebody who... Yeah, she's got a black hat there, so she knows what's going on. And this is on something you think is a two of cups relationship, soulmate relationship. And maybe you've been looking at what you harvested, maybe. Maybe you're even thinking of going in an apology, but there's definitely a third party situation. And this is something you need to keep your guard up against as well, maybe. Maybe you're not seeing the whole situation, really. Maybe you're blind self folding yourself to a truth. And maybe you're also spying up lying at somebody a lot this time. All right, we'll get a couple more and we'll leave it there. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. So, whatever's going on right now, Capricorn, the truth is coming in or the truth is coming out. So, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Lots of love and light. Take care, Ace of Swords. Bye bye.